The Dangerous World Tour was the second world concert tour by Michael Jackson to promote his eighth studio album Dangerous. It was released by Epic Records on November 26, 1991, more than four years after Jackson's previous album, Bad, in 1987. In January 1989, Jackson finished his Bad tour, his first as a solo artist, which had grossed over $125 million. Initially he planned not to tour again and concentrate on making albums and films. Aren't you going to miss this kind of thing, that energy? The, the audience is going crazy out there. How are you going to stay away from it? I don't know, it is my last one. Are you, are you really never going to do another one? No. Following the release of his eighth studio album Dangerous, a press conference was held on February 3, 1992 at Radio City Music Hall in New York City to announce the Dangerous Tour. The event was organized by Jackson's sponsor Pepsi with the artist also present. Jackson explained his sole reason for touring once more. It was to raise funds for his newly formed Heal the World Foundation to aid children and the environment. Thank you so much. I really love what I just heard. It took everything to keep me from crying. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank the Pepsi Cola Corporation for sponsoring the Dangerous Tour which we plan to kick off in June. The only reason I am going on tour is to raise funds for the newly formed Heal the World, an international children's charity that I am spearheading to assist children and the ecology. My goal is to gross $100 million by Christmas 1993. I urge every corporation and individual who cares about this planet and the future of the children to help raise money for the Heal the World charity. The Heal the World Foundation will contribute funds to pediatric AIDS in honor of my friend Ryan White. The Heal the World Foundation will also offer support to such worthwhile organizations as Camp Ronald McDonald, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Children Diabetes, Minority AIDS Foundation, and other charities. I'm looking forward to this tour because it will allow me to devote time to visiting children all around the world, as well as spread the message of global love in the hopes that others, too, will be moved to do their share to help heal the world. Thank you for coming. I love you very much. In June of 1992, a Russian Antonov in 124 cargo jet, which was the world's largest operating airplane, was booked to transport the equipment and stage set from Los Angeles to London for the opening European leg of the tour. However, problems regarding its civilian aircraft certification led to Jackson using a Federal Express Boeing 747 instead. Upon arrival, the equipment was transported across Europe by 65 lorries. The cargo included 1,000 lights, 10 miles of electrical cable, 9 video screens, and 168 speakers. Also around 2 tons of clothing was transported. The Dangerous World Tour presented several transportation challenges due to its extensive scope and the need to move a massive production, including equipment, crew, and performers, from city to city and country to country. But despite these transportation challenges, the Dangerous World Tour managed to overcome them and the tour kicked off in Munich, Germany on June 27, 1992. Jackson performed to a sellout crowd of 72,000 devoted fans. Clothing and Costumes The clothing and costumes worn by Michael Jackson during his Dangerous World Tour were as iconic as the tour itself. Known for his fashion-forward style and attention to detail, Michael Jackson's outfits on stage were a major part of his performance. One of the signature looks of the Dangerous Tour was Michael Jackson's military-inspired costumes. The military-style jacket is heavily embellished with gold-toned metal police shields at each shoulder, a metal armband on the right arm, and metal embellishment at the collar. Additionally adorned with a molded plastic belt, in the same style of an ammunition belt. One of Michael Jackson's most iconic outfits during the Dangerous World Tour was the gold leotard. This particular piece was worn under his military-style costume at the beginning of the show and was his choice of costume during his performances of Wannabe Startin' Something and Human Nature. The gold leotard was a skin-tight, one-piece outfit made of a shiny, metallic gold fabric. It was also paired with Jackson's costume for Smooth Criminal and his signature fedora hat during the performance. Michael Jackson's Stage Entrance During the Dangerous World Tour, Michael would begin his live show by suddenly bursting up through the stage from below, while pyrotechnics would be set off. 
While wearing his trademark military gold jacket and dark sunglasses, Michael would then simply stay in position for a full minute and a half, all while sparks would rain down behind him, and the crowd would be chanting his name. Only then did he quickly jerk his head to one side, prompting further screams from his adoring fans, before slowly taking off his sunglasses. He then burst into a performance of his hit jam. The excitement and anticipation would cause several people a night to faint and having to be carried off by security and paramedics while Michael did this routine at various concerts all around the world. Crowds and Fans Jackson's dangerous tour concerts typically attracted massive crowds, and the sheer number of people in the audience contributed to the intensity of the experience. The larger the crowd, the more likely it was that some fans would faint due to the heat, excitement, and physical exertion. Jackson's music had a profound impact on his fans. Many fans had grown up with his music, and seeing him perform live was a dream come true. The emotional connection they had with his music often translated into strong emotional reactions during his concerts. The Set List The set list for the Dangerous Tour featured a selection of Jackson's biggest hits from his Thriller, Bad, and Dangerous albums. Including Beat It, Billie Jean, Smooth Criminal. There was also a Jackson 5 medley included into the set list, paying tribute to Jackson's earlier years with his brothers in the Jackson 5. This was the first tour to have Jackson doing the lean during Smooth Criminal. The song was part of his bad tour set list, but its choreography did not match the music video. Also included in the set list was Man in the Mirror, one of Jackson's greatest hits from his previous album, Bad. Stage Exit Michael wanted to perform the song at the end of each concert, towards the end of the performance of Man in the Mirror. You can see Jackson putting on a space suit. Michael then switches with a stunt double, Kenny Gibson, who was hired to tour with Jackson for 43 Dangerous Tour shows. Gibson was the only person in the world at that time, to have what is called, a rocket belt. The stunt was one of the most spectacular to have ever been included in a live concert tour. The rocket exit became the signature finale of the tour, and Jackson's fans absolutely loved it. Live in Bucharest The last date of the European leg of the tour was held in Bucharest, Romania, on October 1, 1992. Over 90,000 fans flocked to the Liamanalu National Stadium to see the King of Pop. The concert in Bucharest was filmed for broadcast on the HBO network on October 10. Jackson sold the film rights for the concert for $20 million, then the highest amount for a concert performer to appear on television. The special earned Jackson the second of two Cable Ace Awards of his career, this one for Outstanding Performance Musical Special. Fun Fact Michael Jackson used the European luxury train the Orient Express to travel to several of his 1992 Dangerous Tour dates, but the train at the time did not link all the way to Asia as the new owners hoped to make possible. Humanitarian Work Between the Dangerous Tour dates, the King of Pop was actively involved in various humanitarian efforts. Jackson was known for his philanthropic work throughout his career, and this tour was no exception. During the tour, Jackson made visits to various children's hospitals in the cities where he performed. He spent time with young patients, signed autographs, and made generous donations to the hospitals. His visits brought joy and hope to many sick children and their families. Michael Jackson founded the Heal the World Foundation, inspired by his hit song Heal the World. The foundation aimed to improve the lives of children around the world by addressing various issues, including child immunization, HIV AIDS awareness, and support for children's hospitals. Tour Dates The tour had 69 concerts, in Europe, Asia and Latin America. Jackson performed in stadiums across the world with all being sold out in countries in Asia, Latin America, and Europe. At the tour's end, it grossed over $100 million and was attended by 3.5 million devoted fans of the King of Pop. The 1993 leg of the tour started in Bangkok, Thailand on August 24, the same day that accusations against Jackson of sexual abuse were made public. The September 1, 1993 concert in Singapore was scheduled for August 30th, but was rescheduled due to Jackson collapsing before the show. Mr. Jackson has been suffering recently from an acute vascular headache, which unfortunately, due to the severity this evening, caused the cancellation of tonight's performance.
During his visit to Moscow in September, Jackson came up with the song Stranger in Moscow which would be released on his 1995 album History, Past, Present and Future, Book 1. It was during a time when Jackson felt very alone, far away from his family and friends, yet every night throughout his tour, fans would stay by his hotel and support him. The tour ends in November 1993. The tour was ended after the concert in Mexico City due to illness that required hospitalization. Jackson had become dependent on painkillers, having suffered from dehydration, migraines, and injuries. Originally, the Dangerous World Tour was supposed to run until Christmas of 1993. But due to Michael's ill health and various other reasons, 29 concerts had to be cancelled. Overall, the Dangerous Tour was a significant event in Michael Jackson's career and remains a part of pop music history due to its scale and impact. Michael Jackson's stage presence, dance moves, and overall performance style on the Dangerous Tour continue to inspire future generations of artists and performers. His commitment to perfection and innovation set a high standard for live entertainment. The tour made a lasting impact on Michael Jackson's career, the music industry, and popular culture. It cemented his position as a global superstar and showcased his influence on music and performance art. The tour remains a key part of his legacy as the king of pop. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a like and share, hit that subscribe button for more Michael Jackson content, here on MJ Show and Tell. See you on the next one.